It's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, I'm batch filming, so you're going to see the same nails and all the things. But this is a video that I'm super, um, I'm really excited to do this video because I'm going to show you why I have so many planners and how they all are integrated together. Okay, so how it usually goes, and this is probably going to be a quick video, and I'm okay with that. I hope you guys are too. But I usually have a main planner. Okay, one that holds all the pertinent information for me until I can sift it down into these other ones. I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, I grab my stack of planners, and I traditionally um, grab, so I, I guess we could call this like my planner routine too, but I'll, um, I'll get the weather off my phone. I have already grabbed my glucose number when I was in the bathroom going to the going to the bathroom and kind of waking up. And so I will go to my glucose section and I will write down the number for the day. And then I will also go to my weeklies and I will see what I've got on my list. And I'll also check to see if I have any appointments or anything that I have to get done no matter what. And, um, and I'll look at this and then what I'll do is I'll go, okay, you know what? The kitchen is in dire need. Um, so I need, I need to do the kitchen. So I will migrate that to do list or that task. I will migrate that to this A6 Hobonichi Techo, which I got super cheap on Amazon cause it was late in the year. And I'll just start making my, um, my to-do list, even if it's the smallest thing. Okay. Um, it gives me joy to be able to cross it off. So I write it with this pen and I cross it off with the highlighter, all right? If I do not finish it because say something happens and the day goes awry, I have the freedom, I've given myself the freedom to not push it at the end of the day, unless I have the energy. And then I've also given myself the freedom to migrate it. So let's just say this is Saturday and there's something on Tuesday that I didn't get done. I'm okay with leaving it unhighlighted on Tuesday and then just migrating it on the day when I'm ready to do it, okay? So this can be anything. This doesn't have to be this fancy. It can be just a simple notebook from Walmart. So don't overcomplicate that. And I also fully understand that um, I could make a daily to-do section here, but for some reason I just, I don't know, it just didn't click with me. And I just thought, you know, I just need a different place to be when I'm working around the house and plotting out what I'm going to do that day. I just, I just need to kind of like, I spend a lot of time with this. I carry it with me. I love it. Um, and I have to carry it with me, but I think this makes me smile a little bit and I'm glad to kind of be out of this one for just a few minutes a day. So that's what this has allowed me to do, okay? All right, then I have my health journal, which at the end of the month, okay, these are my goals, because I just started this in August, so, or early September. So my goal on the health journal then is to take my, um, my numbers and transfer them to the weeklies, okay, to the weeklies here. I am not putting them in the, um, oh yeah, I did work on that. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I backfilled that, but I am not going to do it here in the monthlies. This is where I want to keep my um, doctor's visits and things like that. And then in the back, in the note pages, I have therapy notes, which I will not show on the channel. It is hard to believe, but I'm going to say this. I have not really much stickered this up except for the front and then put this juice box sticker from Sweet Quiet Designs. Oh my God, I've got this. Oh my gosh. And this, this has to go. This has to, I have to, I used mono adhesive. I'm not much, I don't know, I got really wild with the printables this Sunday. And um, if you use mono adhesive, the dots, it rubs right off. Um, I don't know if anybody knows about that. And they are in my Amazon storefront, if you're curious. They're the best adhesive that I've found. And I like the dots because look at it, it's rubbing out. I know that's a rabbit trail, but look. It won't stick. I love it because I just rubbed all the adhesive off. And I put that on there, gosh, six days ago, five days ago. So I'm not um, I'm not decorating this. I'm not spending a lot of money because this was new to me. 
cheap from Amazon, and then I had to buy the cover on cover, which I can recycle to next year, but usually I don't because for the health journal, I wanted a bound book that I could shelve and reference in the future if I needed to. Um, but I'm not really, um, I'm not really sprucing this up at all because at this point I wasn't sure if it was going to click or work. And so I am trying to be mindful about that. So I don't really take my planners and like set them up. I, I'm like, no, let's use them and see if they work. And then if I want to add a little sprucing up, I can do that, which is what happened. These are from the Dollar Tree and I just slapped them on there. And then I did order this and I love it. So, you know, after that, I know you're like, who am I listening to? I get it, you know, because I'm all about the stickers and I'm all about the extra. But I don't know, something, I'm still that, I'm still that person, but I think something is shifting just a pinch and that's maybe maturity <laughs> oh you know is it wrong that I crack myself up I don't know <laughs> I think sometimes it's a little weird um where was I now oh yeah okay <laughs> uh, okay this is my a5 it's an advantage spec undyed the reason for this planner is because I needed a place to document um, in a bound book so that I could shelve it um, all of my, in one book, a year of accomplishments and events. And I really, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's what's happening is I found, I found a little spot, a little corner in the planner community where I'm like, I fit. I absolutely think I got it. And you know I'm avoiding saying planner piece because I truly don't think that exists because if you say that, then that's saying you're going to use that same planner for the rest of your life. At least, at least that's my interpretation. But I really think that that was what was missing for me because I used to be a huge scrapbooker. I, w I actually managed a scrapbooking store in the day. And um, when I started this journey with plan planners and journals, I 100%, I don't know, there was something deep down missing that I wasn't archiving enough and that I wasn't like, where's all these, where are all these memories and events going to be kept? Okay. And once I did this, I made it, you know, what happened was um, the take a note planner was out of stock. And I thought, well, it's, it's a line on each page. How, how can that be hard? So I created, I repurposed a planner that didn't work for me, and I created basically my DIY take a note. So what happens is, is that, and I keep opening and closing stuff, and I've done a flip, so we're not going to spend a lot of time, um, you know, screwing around with this one. What happens is, on the monthlies, I just transfer from my pocket rings, all right, I just transfer. I just transfer the weather from my pocket rings into, um, and I do it whenever I want. It's no big deal. I don't, I don't have a schedule for this. I transfer it in here. Okay. I'm, I'm all caught up on the weeklies. I don't ever struggle with that. And there's really nothing else in the beginning of this planner. Um, but in the back, I've implemented this, which also was a, a really big comfort to me, is that I just do a day, a line a day. So like here, Cooper has a hot spot left cheek on the 16th of September. Um, I finished the filing at work, met the Whole Foods doctor, it went well. My coworker Libby was her birthday. Um first therapist appointment. So I keep it super, super simple and very much whatever was the best highlight of the day. Okay. So it's just one through 30 or 31. And, um, I just use my stencil to keep the line straight. I really have been loving that. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, now I've got nowhere to put, put my YouTube life. And I'm not much for having a social media planner because basically I'm only, you know, I share, if you join me on Instagram, I share really funny reels that I th crack me up to no end and also uh, sales so that I can help you guys avoid paying full price. That's what I do on social, on Instagram and also my community page here. So I thought, now how am I gonna, 
how am I going to do this where I keep track of YouTube too? And I thought about um, like keeping it on a monthly cover page and just doing my stats there. It just didn't sit right with me. It just wasn't creative enough. So I decided to do a month at a glance. I have not decorated most of these months. And what I do is every time I put up a video, I get to color in the square. And then if I put up more than one video, I get to stencil in the amount I put up that day. So here I did start organizing. Okay. And then I don't really have a place, see, because I didn't skip a page. Hang on. I might want to do um, a year at a glance right here for YouTube, but I just haven't decided if I just want to put it somewhere on the page. I don't know. We'll see. I've been working really hard at all these planners and getting them caught up and also my 2025 lineup. So, and then I think I, yeah, I think I talked about this and that's it. So, um, I've been batch filming so much. I actually forgot what this video was about. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's, I just have so much fun filming and I just love sharing. Um, no, it was how my planners flow together. So this is, this is home base and then everything kind of spider webs out from, from this one, whatever I decide this is, you know, cause I still have my personal rings and I miss her a lot, but, um, this is what's working for me right now. So, okay. Um, yeah. And so that's how I funnel every, that's how I funnel everything from this, which is what I spend my most, most of my time in. And then I have it all kind of boom, boom, boom down the line so that nothing gets missed. Now, you're, I know somebody's going to ask me, what happens at the end of the year? I'll tell you what happens. This, I will catch this up so that this is full and complete. I will go to the therapy notes and I will decide what do I need to write in my new one, okay? What do I need to retain into the new year? And I will probably transcribe that to the new Hobonichi Weeks, which I did get one. Um, and then I'll shelve this. Someplace safe, okay, where I can not down in the basement in a bunch of boxes. It's going to probably go maybe on a bookshelf in my quiet room. And that's where I read mostly. And um, so that easy access. Okay. This same thing. I'm going to pull from it what I need. So any tasks that I feel like need to migrate into the new year, I'm going to pull and then I'm going to throw it. And um, because there's no, there's no, there's no earthly reason why I need to keep to-do lists from the days. Okay. And again, I'm only throwing down washi and a little sticker here and there. So I'm not overcomplicating this one because I need the space. I can't be putting big ass stickers down on that page and then not have the space to write. Okay. Um, inserts for this will get thrown. Uh, there is no reason to keep my glucose numbers if they're already stashed in the health journal. Okay. And then um, stuff will get migrated to the new rings and then the weather, so the at a glance, the month at a glance, that's not going to get saved because, again, no reason. My weeklies I throw out pretty, pretty frequently. I don't let any like two or three weeks go by where I'm not um, shredding those. Mm, yeah, notes or anything, I might migrate to the new one. And then, um, yeah, so I have the starts of my pocket rings for 2025, which I will try to do a video soon. So yeah, most of this will either get transferred to the new setup or get thrown. And then again, this will get saved on a, on a shelf, probably next to the Hopanichi Weeks, because I am so looking forward to um, a New Year's Eve, because um, I'm not a big partier. And, I, you know, I used to joke New Year's Eve is for amateurs. Um, it, it's not my thing. You know, you go do you. I would rather be home alone under a blanket with the fire going. And um, to be honest with you, staring at a wall instead of in a bar drinking with a bunch of hoo-hahs. So that's just me. Okay. <laughs> but this will get stored. And I'm super excited to um, flip through this and read through it, not just flip read through it and kind of just go over some memories. Uh, that's going to be so much fun for me. And then I will shelve it so that if anybody else wants to take a look at it, um, 
they they can do that okay so that is what's going to happen at the end of the year oh and then in my emotional journal that'll get saved that'll get put in a box when i finish the notebook and then i'll just start a new one now i'm not one to start january 1st i need a new emotional journal and so on it's just whenever i run out of paper then i just start a new one and i do need to get better at dating them because i've not dated any of them and i'm like oh i don't want to do it it's that's going to be a labor of love for sure so all right thank you you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something i hope you got some ideas because that's the point of me sharing i thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe and always enjoy today bye everybody